Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have to find the uh, value of line integral of a vector field. The given vector field I have already written here. The next important thing is curve C. What have they mentioned? C is a parabolic path y is equal to x square from minus 1 comma 1 to 1 comma 1. So we have to find parameterization of this curve. In parameterization, what we do, we try to express the entire curve in terms of one variable. So here also we will try to do the same. So for that, I'm going to put x is equal to t. Putting x is equal to t. What I'm going to do, x is equal to t. So y is equal to what? Tell me. If I put x is equal to t here, y is equal to t square. So in this way, we have expressed x and y in terms of t. Now we are interested to find limits of t. You can easily see here the first coordinate, which is which are values of x. x varies from minus 1 to 1. Let me mention here, here x varies from minus 1 to 1 and x is equal to t. So therefore, t also varies from minus 1 to 1. Okay. So in this way, we got limits of t. So let us define parameterization of this curve. Okay. Yes. So we have some space. Let us use a parameterization of given curve. Let me write here. Parameterization of C is, okay, we'll denote it by alpha, which is defined on close interval minus 1 comma 1 to R2. Get it? Since limits of t are from minus 1 to 1, so that's why I should define alpha on close interval minus 1 to 1, defined as, okay, defined as, we will define in this way, alpha of t is equal to x. What is value of x? t and y. Value of y is t square, okay. So in this way, we got parameterization of given curve C. So after that, we will find some basic thing just like alpha dash of t, f of alpha of t, let us find then alpha dash of t. So alpha dash of t can be easily found by taking simply derivative of each component. Derivative of t is 1, derivative of t square is 2t. So this is alpha dash of t. Let us find f of alpha of t and f of alpha of t, which is equal to f of. What is alpha of t? Let me write here t comma t square. After that, we will follow the definition of f to find its value. Definition of f is this one. Okay. At a place of x, we have to put t. At a place of y, we have to put t square. So let us apply the definition. x square, that means t square minus 2x, 2t into y. That means t square. Okay, so in this way, we got a first component. Next, y square. y is t square. So y square, that means t square square, t raised to 4 minus 2x, 2t into y, which is t square. Okay. Let us simplify it. t square minus 2t cube and t raised to 4 minus 2t cube. So this is f of alpha of t. So let us follow the definition of line integral of vector field now. Then integration of f over c is equal to integration. See here uh, given curve c has a parameterization alpha which is defined on close interval minus 1 to 1. So obviously limits are minus 1 to 1. Definition of line integral of vector field says this is uh, integration inner product of f of alpha of t comma alpha dash of t dt. Let us put values here integration minus 1 to 1 inner product f of alpha of t is this one. Let me write it here t square minus 2t cube okay comma t raised to 4 minus 2t cube. So this is f of alpha of t right alpha dash of t is this one I should write here. 1 comma 2t dt right so see there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it and we will go further so let us simplify it further okay so you know well how to find a value of inner product first component into first component plus second component into second component so see let us simplify integration minus 1 to 1 okay first component into 1 so we'll have the same so t square minus 2t cube okay plus second component into 2t right so let us see what will happen 2t into t raised to 4 that means we will have 2t raised to 5 and minus 2 into this 2 minus 4 okay t cube into t t raised to 4 so this term we have so now we have to integrate it with respect to t so let us remove it it is not required so we'll have some more space to solve this problem right okay so let us go further 
this is equal to you can easily integrate we have very simple function here integration of t square is t cube by 3 right minus 2 integration of t cube is t raised to 4 by 4 2 constant integration of t raised to 5 is t raised to 6 by 6 for its integration will be t raised to 5 by 5 what i have done i have kept constant as it is simply i uh, took integration of functions only let us put one there so 1 by 3 minus 2 by 4 plus 2 by 6 minus 4 by 5 since by putting one we will have constants only one raised to anything we will always will have one minus now i am putting minus one let us see what will happen minus one cube is minus one by three minus one raised to four will be one so minus two by four next minus one raised to six will be one so it will be plus two by six and minus one raised to five will be minus one minus minus plus four by five let us see what will happen okay see uh, minus 2 by 4 minus 2 by 4 will get cancelled since there is minus sign between them 2, 2 by 6 and 2 by 6 will get cancelled to each other since again there is minus sign between them so let us simplify the uh, remaining terms so 1 by 3 minus 4 by 5 minus minus plus 1 by 3 minus plus minus 4 by 5 right 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 2 by 3 minus 4 by 5 minus 4 by 5 minus 8 by 5 now we can cross multiply so 10 minus it is a 24 and here 15 so minus 14 by 15 this is a required answer okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye